Today I'm going to demonstrate making one of the very popular dish and that is Lao Fry noodles. In one of my earlier videos, I did demonstrate making this dish. However, I was making it in large quantity for a large family or an event. And I have viewers who have requested for me to make this video cooking the noodles in smaller portion for a smaller family and i am so sorry it took me so long it is overdue and i am finally getting a chance to make this video today i'm going to make lao fry noodle in smaller portion using the dry noodle package 14 ounce that will be sufficient for a family of two, three, or four. So please join me in making this very yummy fried noodle that everyone loves and enjoys. Here are the ingredients I'm using to make the fried noodles or caramelized fried noodle dish. I have two options of noodles here. This is the dry noodle. If you're going to use dry noodle, choose the size small. This is the thinness uh, noodle and here it's a package of wet noodle you can use either one however most people do not have access to getting the wet noodle and so today I'm going to demonstrate making the dry noodle because this is easier for people to locate so one package of 14 ounce dry noodle two teaspoon of black soy sauce half teaspoon salt one tablespoon chicken powder, one cup water, one half cup sugar, about three to four tablespoon cooking oil, okay, a couple pieces of charlotte, and three to four clove of garlic, four eggs, some bean sprouts, and some green onion. This dry noodle needs to be soaked in room temperature water for one hour. Never soak the noodle in warm or hot water because that is going to cause the noodle to break and not retain its length. So let's soak the noodle here. Water here I got. While the noodle is being soaked, let's prepare the eggs. And then use the fork to beat the egg in the cup here. Let's add about one fourth teaspoon golden mountain sauce. This is to add flavor to the eggs. using a paper towel and dip into cooking oil and just wipe the nonstick pan here. Pour in my eggs. Okay, gently swirl the pans around. Okay. Add a little more. Okay, and I'm just going to use my hands to flip the eggs, just like that. Okay. Just like that. By the way, this is a crepe pan that I use to make uh, for gold or steamed rice rolls. This is the best pan to make that. Okay, this is good. And then just leave it on a chopboard. Now let's mix the sauce. This is the black soy sauce. Noodle has been soaked for one hour, so let's drain the noodle here. 
caramelizing the sugar now pouring in the oil pouring in the sugar at first I am caramelizing the sugar here in a uh, high heat until I see the sugar starts to turn color then I will reduce the heat to low okay now I see that the sugar starts to change in color so I am reducing the heat to low okay reducing the heat to low and continue to caramelize the sugar when making this uh, fried noodle dish I like to get my sauce cook prepare my sauce ready and then quickly work on the noodle the charlotte give it a quick stir Ooh, smells very good adding the garlic Fry the garlic and shallots with the caramelized sugar here until we could smell the aroma from them and also when they started to get golden. Okay, this is good. I'm adding in the sauce. Okay, mix the sauce once more and then add it in. Okay, now I'm turning on the heat high again. I want to cook the sauce so that all the sugar is melted in the sauce. Okay, all the sugar has been melted and the sauce is now boiling. So I am turning off the heat. I'm setting this aside for now and let's move on to prepare the noodles. To prepare the noodle, bring a pot of water to boil and we need to blanch the noodles for about one minute. So just load it in, use a bamboo spatula, just gently move the noodle. While the noodle is being blanched here, leave the heat on, don't turn off the stove. We want the water to continue boiling and working here to blanch the noodle nicely. Rinse it in cold water to stop the cooking process and also wash away any starches from the noodle. So let's go to the sink. Turn the noodle while cooking. You can use a, a tong or bamboo spatula like I do. So the sauce is now boiling. It's time to add the noodle in. Very gentle. Just be very gentle adding the noodles in. And then again be gentle. Mix the noodle in with the sauce. Combine it well. I could hear the sauce boiling, sizzling, so I am reducing the heat to medium, okay? We don't want to drain the liquid, so we want the noodles to properly cook, so reduce the heat to medium and cover the wok for about one minute to let the noodle cook. Okay. Noodle has simmered in the wok for about a minute. Okay, be very gentle as I turn the noodle here so they don't break. Color looks very nice and golden. I'm covering the second time for another minute to let the noodle cook. The second one minute it's up. I let the heat to remain at medium heat. Do not in increase the heat just cook in medium heat 
Okay, this is good. We're turning off the heat now. Put the noodle in a large bowl. Let it cool for about, I would say, 15, 20 minutes. While the noodle is very hot, do not try to pull it because you're going to break all the noodles. So just cut it into half, like half moons. Break it over. And then now cutting it into strips. I like cutting my eggs about a quarter inch wide. Everybody, some people like it very thin, some people like it wider, but for me, it's about a quarter inch wide. Color of the noodle turns out very nice and golden. Noodle has been cool for about 15 minutes, so let's be very gentle to pull this apart so they don't stick together. As you can see, all of this stick together, so we don't want that. To be served noodles sticking together so use both hands with cooking gloves on and be very gentle just pull apart the noodles the noodle is still warm but it's okay okay just there it's all done okay. adding the eggs in adding to mix the eggs in very gentle All right. See how nice. Some bean sprouts on top also. Green onions. Little bit of cilantro to garnish. Roasted Thai chili. So, I like some on top of it. Let's have lunch. Okay. Looks so pretty and yum. And now, if you have a small family, you can certainly make this recipe. This would be enough for about three to four people. Okay. Hmm. I am hungry as usual. <laughs> to eat this noodle, you have the option just serve it like this, okay? Like how I plate it here, or you can use leaf lettuce to make a wrap and enjoy with lettuce, cilantro, mint, okay? So, but since I have all of this at home, I might as well going to use it to make a wrap Ooh. okay little bit of each and okay the dry chili i'm just going to cut it in half because they are spicy hmm they are spicy so cilantro that i have it here and I also have mint, so I'm just gonna add mint. Mint, it's healthy for you. Okay. Make it into a wrap. Mm. So good and spicy from the roasted chili, the mint, the cilantro, a combination of each. So good. Mm. Wow. Very delicious, and the noodle it's soft, so nice. Uh. 
very delicious. Mm. Well, thank you for watching me Ling, today making the very popular and delicious lao fry noodle. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.